Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This is how to install Chrome on your NVIDIA Shield. So grab yourself a drink and let's get it on. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the settings and then you're going to want to scroll down to near the bottom of the menu which is going to take you to the security and restrictions section and that is where you either check mark or uncheck mark unknown sources now by default it comes uncheck marked so you have to really uh, make sure that that is check marked if you want to install anything than what is on the app store so now let's go into the ES file explorer so on the left hand side there we want to scroll up to favorite and we want to click on favorite with a and then highlight add and then click on a again now this is where you add the path to Google the web browser so you just have to put in a correct name or path in this case which is the HTTP um, colon and then forward slash forward slash google.com that is going to set it so that you can get to the Google web page through the ES file manager um, it's not like the app it's not as good as the app but this will allow you to get to web pages and APKs which is what they call their executables um, in order to install the files and or programs and then you can just call it in the name whatever you want you can call it web search you can call it Google search or you can just call it Google and once you give it a name then you just click next and then done alright so once we're done with that we should go down and test the link so let's scroll down and go to the one called Google and that is our web link and as you can see Google pulled up and it's looking good and let's test the Google search so let's scroll into the uh, search bar and let's search for YouTube so it's a little clunky with the with the controller I recommend getting a uh, Bluetooth mouse because the controller uh, you know they have the analog sticks one stick pages down the other stick does like uh, just like the regular up down left right and then of course you have to scroll around and get to the keyboard I have a Bluetooth keyboard too and I'm, I'm gonna probably put the Bluetooth keyboard on it too um, but as you can see we got to YouTube and it pulled up some videos so I would call that a success so we've successfully added the web browser feature in the ES file explorer now that we've done that let's go back into the file explorer and go back to the Google page so that we can download the Google Chrome APK so you're going to have to go back in and type in Chrome dot APK or space APK in order to do the search now you just click the search button and you're gonna have to scroll down and get to one of the pages that shows the APK on it now the one that I utilized was APK Mirror because I heard that that one was really good and had a lot of trusted sources so that's the one I utilized now there's going to be a whole list of APKs here uh, with all of the different Android versions I picked 7.0 because that's what the shield has on it so I figured I would keep it native and as you can see you just have to go down and you have to highlight the download APK And like I said, uh, a Bluetooth mouse would fly through this. So I suggest doing that if you really want to make this quick. Now you just open the file uh, after it's been successfully downloaded. 
So you highlight that and then you just click install. Now I'm not going to install it because I've already installed it. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You can basically install any kind of app like that if you want to or go to the Google Play Store. It's up to you. Okay, here we go. Final thoughts time. So adding the web to ES File Explorer is not hard. Just make sure you enable the unknown sources first. I recommend a Bluetooth mouse. It makes navigation so much easier. There are also easier ways to sideload apps. I will be making videos on mapping your shield drive to your PC through a network shared drive. This makes transferring of files very easy. Plus adding a sideload launcher. Then I also have one on installing a PPSSPP emulator and playing God of War. Oh yeah, and how to enable a FTP server on the shield. Plus, then there is RetroArch. Wow, I'm gonna be busy. Please subscribe if you want to catch any of those videos and much more. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tech out of here. Thanks for watching again.